Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and today we're going to talk audiobooks. Now, as you may see, I live on a boat and it's very Christmassy on here at the moment. Um, and I don't have a telly or anything like that on board, no games consoles or things like that. Luckily, I've always been into reading and since moving on board, as there's often quite a few little jobs to do every now and then, like, I mean, even simple stuff like clearing out the fire and that sort of thing, which sometimes, if I get back from work late, can take a while, so I don't have as much time to get into actual proper reading books, because even just things like commuting to work and generally going about a daily boat life takes a little bit of the time I used to have away from me. So what I've become a big fan of recently is audiobooks, and oh my goodness me, the amount of times I've listened to some of them, but we will get onto that in a second. First of all, I'll just uh, build you a nice romantic scene if I turn the light off here. Now personally, I don't think that this is too bad a setting at all to sit back in the evenings, listen to a few audiobooks, get a little bit of writing done sometimes, but ultimately... How's that for you? And if we have a quick look outside, because I've got to make the most of the Christmas lights while they're on board, I'll just show you the view, looking down the side of Tilly here. Tilly being the name of the boat, obviously. Absolutely wonderful. And along the front, we have also, no expense spared, got another load of lights. Lovely. Anyway, I'll let you check out my other videos for a proper look at the lighting and let's get back inside and see just what my top audiobooks are. So now we're inside, we've got a nice crackling fire to one side, we're all cosy and away from the freezing elements outside and ultimately, I've said it time and time again, how good is it to just be in here nice and warm, listening to an audiobook, obviously once you take all these lights out and you've just got the Christmas lights at the minute, fantastic drifting away to sleep with goodness knows who talking down your ear uh, and also apologies if i look a bit ghostly and pale but i've got a few lights shining in from the side so that i'm not all in shadow from the light above um and really let's get down to business so the first audiobook that i want to mention is uh, andrew Mars, a uh, history of the world and that's one of the most recent audiobooks that I've listened to. And I've already started listening to it again because it, I don't know why, but it just absolutely gripped me. And I was listening to it for hours and hours and hours a day. No matter what I was doing, I was out cutting wood up on the deck there. And oh, just, I could not get enough of it. Um, now, I've always been obsessed with Roman history and sort of the ancient world. And I'm moving a little bit more into Greek history and uh, ancient Egypt. But ultimately... I don't have a huge uh, knowledge of any history, um, apart from maybe a little bit of Rome and a little bit of medieval Europe. But having a proper narrated history of the world, obviously that, ex that suddenly becomes a huge period of time in an awful lot of areas. And I've always said about history, there's so many uh, inspirational stories for writers, filmmakers, or just any sort of person who wants to create something. History has got so many different stories that are unbelievable in many cases, and, well, in some cases, literally not true, as it turns out, but there's that many things that have happened, as you can imagine, that almost any uh, writer's block can be cured with a perfect story from somewhere in history. And I just absolutely love the uh, History of the World by Andrew Marr because it throws up so many completely fascinating facts that I had no idea about from areas of the world that you wouldn't really consider sort of, I don't know, being sort of great historical places and obviously over the history of the entire world there's been a long, lot of changes go on and so just having someone go through and name even just a few of those things from history it's just fantastic and I really do love stuff like that and well in fact this is how much I love Rome. I have got a book just under the camera right now called The Complete Roman Legions. Um, and that is just, well, specifically about Roman military organisation and history. And to have my eyes opened to the broad world history is just fantastic. And there's so many good stories in it. It's just a general fascinating thing to hear what's gone on in the world. Um, 
another thing, a different, completely different type of book here that I've really enjoyed. I think this is probably one of the best produced audio books I've ever listened to, and that is I Partridge, We Need to Talk About Alan. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Alan Partridge, which a lot of you may be from around the world, but he's basically a fictional comedy character made by Steve Coogan and has appeared in various TV programmes over the years. And basically, this is his autobiography, which is written and performed by Steve Coogan and a few other writers, of course. Uh, Credit where credit's due. And because he's literally recorded it as Alan Partridge, if you're a Partridge fan, then, oh, it is absolutely brilliant. It's got all sorts of uh, retellings of things that have happened in the TV series, but because he's a sort of unfortunate, nothing-goes-right-for-him character, he's glossing over things and giving completely different versions of stories that, if you're a fan, you'll already know what actually happened. So then hearing what he says and his version of events to try and make himself look good is just hilarious. It's one of the funniest things I've ever heard and I've listened to it so many times already that it's probably becoming a slight problem. <laughs> so that's Eye Partridge. We need to talk about Alan. Fantastic again. But speaking of I something, now this is another book I've really, really enjoyed. I Claudius. And that is, if you're not familiar with the book, then basically it's a telling of the tales of sort of early imperial Rome from the perspective of the Emperor Claudius. And so it goes through all sorts of the terrible emperors and what was going on and the mischief that they got up to. But it's all told from his personal point of view. And the version that I listen to has got a fantastic sort of, I don't know, an older gentleman uh, reading it. And it is just as if it's Claudius himself retelling these tales as if he is literally there speaking to you. And that's a book that I really enjoyed listening to while I was out walking. And I enjoyed it that much that there's some moments in it that even when I'm out walking now around some of the similar local walks that I used to do, when I get to certain points, I quite literally have sort of the memories come back from the audiobook of the key events that were happening while I was walking on that day and the key events or some sort of humorous thing that he said in one of his uh, random moments when I was, I don't know, halfway up the race course, for example, for anybody who's got any local knowledge of Oswestry landmarks there. Um, so that's I Claudius, I Partridge, uh, Andrew Mars, History of the World. Uh, those are three to start you off. Um, something that I've really enjoyed, and it's not so much an audiobook as it is a sort of radio drama, but the BBC radio version of The Hobbit. That is absolutely fantastic. And I bought that way back in the day. Get this, on the audio cassette. And I've re-bought it in various formats over the years. But I can't praise that enough. The Hobbit BBC radio version, just amazing. It's not, a, a, obviously, being a sort of drama a version, it's not in any way like just a straight reading of the book. There's all sorts of different actors, some that you may recognise the voices of, um, others that you will not. But it's just really a fantastic, well-rounded production. And like I say, it is like you're listening to a... well a proper production of some sort of play, I suppose. That, that is fundamentally what it is. Um, so definitely check that out. BBC Radio version of The Hobbit. Keeping us in the history category, I'm very sorry for this very closed group of books I've been uh, talking about. Uh, like I say, I am obsessed with history. Oh, I love it. Um, is one of the books I've really enjoyed over this year, probably, I, I don't know, four or five months ago, was John O'Farrell's An Utterly Exasperated History of Modern Britain. Now, that might not have much interest to any overseas listeners or any overseas viewers to this video, but if you're interested in the general history of modern Britain, then he gives a fantastic uh, tongue-in-cheek comedy look at all the events that have gone on in recent times. So that's sort of, I don't know, 100 years or so, call it. Um, but when it gets to the more modern things that uh, residents of the UK may be familiar with and lived through, I don't know, there's just something fantastic about hearing somebody just say all these different things and generally poke fun at what's gone on. And also, obviously, being a history of these events, 
it actually puts them all in a broader context of the timeline of events that you can sort of say, ah, well, look at this, this was going on here, which led to this, this, and this. And it really does anything relating to sort of very modern history, as well as a lot of things from a very, very long time ago in history, has an incredible relevance to the situation that we are in today and the way the world is right now. And something like that, that's not only taking you through recent events, but also giving you, a, well, I think it's a hilarious book and it's well worth listening to. Uh, or even reading, heaven for friends, reading. <laughs> it's well worth it if you've got the time. On, well, I mean, I'm obsessed with Audible, as you can probably tell. Like, I've got all sorts of books. About, uh, I'm currently listening to A History of the Greek Myths, so that's something I'm really enjoying, because I've never really explored the myths properly. So it's like hearing the actual backstories to a lot of the names, or the full version of events to some of the stories that you may recognise and know already. It's very enjoyable to go through that. Um, but I'm not sure what I've started saying then, before that random interruption. Uh, ultimately... Those are just a few suggestions of books. I don't want to endlessly talk at the camera here because I really could go on forever, as you can probably tell. But I think I need a drink of water. So I'll say, just uh, take a look at a few of those. Oh yeah, uh, Audible. I am obsessed with Audible. I mean, I'm not in any way being endorsed or paid by them while I film this video. I just want to point that out. But I really do think it's a fantastic service. It's one of the better value for money things, I think, personally. I mean, I'm on the... £15 uh, for two audiobooks uh, thing at the moment and those obviously I mean if you say that's £7.50 per book then obviously you can subscribe and unsubscribe at will to get more books or less books uh, depending on how many you've got to listen to. I mean there's some books that I've downloaded like some of Ayn Rand's work which are or Ayn Rand's work sorry uh, which go on for I think 40 hours plus in some cases and obviously that's a lot easier than reading through a book that I think Atlas Shrugged was about literally that big. I mean, I might be underestimating it there. Um, so I got a few hundred pages in that reading and then thought, I oh, need to this as an audio book. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Like I say, I'm going to have a drink of water. I'll say thank you very much uh, for taking the time to watch this far if you have done. Make sure you check out my other videos for a load more of Life on an Arrowboat, a load of random bits and pieces from, I don't know, astronomy to writing and things like that. If you're interested in reading, then please check out the book that I wrote about my first year on board Tilly here. It's available for only £1.53 on the Kindle. It's called The Narrowboat Lad. Yes, I am that Narrowboat Lad. Um, Make sure you subscribe, like the Facebook page, feel free to add me personally on Facebook, all the links are at the end of, the, of this video, as well as Twitter and that sort of stuff. Till the next time, have a fantastic day, happy listening, and farewell.